there is a procedure called the reverse shoulder replacement or reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. This is specifically reserved for two patient populations. One is a patient that has had a rotator that has had a significantly large rotator cuff tear for a long period of time where the rotator cuff is irreparable and the ball has ridden so high under the socket because the rotator cuff is not able to keep the ball in the socket that the patient loses the ability to, to move the arm completely and has developed an arthritic condition called rotator cuff arthropathy. For these patients, we perform something called a reverse shoulder replacement, which is where we actually put the ball on the socket side and a metal stem and a socket plastic piece on uh, the arm side. This allows a change in the moment arm of the deltoid on the arm so that the patient can once again elevate their arm and use their arm. And that, patient, and that uh, surgery has been rather successful uh, in recent studies. The other, patient, the other patient population that we perform that reverse shoulder replacement type of surgery is, is in the older patient population who has had a significant fracture of the upper part of the arm or what we call a proximal humerus fracture uh, that needs replacement. And we find that the outcome after reverse shoulder replacement for a, a large proximal humerus fracture uh, is oftentimes significantly better than plates and screws or a traditional half a shoulder replacement.